Today I'll pick one motor from this pile and answer the age-old scrapper question. Sell it whole for quick cash, or tear it apart for copper, steel, and aluminum and earn more. Let's do the math, and the dirty work. Welcome back to Electronic Waste Explorers, I'm Giannis. If you love gear guts and money-making experiments, you're in the right place. Got a question while we strip? Drop it in the comments, and I'll answer. Here's today's motor. This one appears to be a single-phase induction motor. No obvious permanent magnets on the outside. If you can read the nameplate, great. That can tell you whether the motor uses permanent magnets, is an induction or DC motor. If the nameplate is gone, we'll estimate copper percentage visually later. Quick facts to use in the math. Typical small to medium AC induction motors often contain about 7 to 10% copper by weight in their windings. DC and specialty motors can be 12 to 20% copper. Scrap copper is paid per pound and is worth several times what scrapyards pay for a whole motor per pound. Also, permanent magnets, if present, can add disproportionately large value. Okay, first step. Let's see what this thing actually weighs. I'm placing it on my digital scale and we've got a bit over 17 pounds. Now I'll hop online. Check what scrap yards are paying right now for whole motors per pound. I see a local yard quoting 23 cents per pound for whole electric motors today. I'll plug that in. That way, when I tell you what it's worth as is, I'm not guessing. I'm using the same real price you could walk in with. Let's do the math. So, 17 pounds multiplied by 23 cents per pound equals $3.91. Quick, simple, and you leave the work to the yard. All right, enough talk. Let's get our hands dirty. I'll tear this motor apart piece by piece so you can see exactly what's inside and how much copper we can really get. Before starting, safety first, every time. Use gloves and eye protection. There's no glory in getting copper if you get metal shavings in your eye. If you're just starting in the scrap business, focus on finding motors with nameplates and visible windings. Those are easy wins. Most small AC motors are sealed with bolts or crimped steel end caps. If you're lucky, a few bolts hold everything. If not, you'll need the grinder. How to spot a PM motor. Look for a thin stator without huge windings, or for rotor features where magnets are visible after disassembly. Another trick, if the motor is from an appliance with brushless DC electronics, like e-bike hubs, power tools, it's more likely to have magnets. A few taps with the hammer, and we've got the rotor freed up. Here's the rotor the heavy steel core that spins. You can see the smooth surface and the shaft running through it. This one's solid steel, no magnets here. But if you ever see shiny curved blocks glued around the rotor, those are rare earth magnets, and they're worth extra. Now, this is where the money hides, the stator windings. That reddish color is varnished copper wire. You can tell it's real copper by the warm color and the resistance to magnet pull. If it were aluminum, it'd look silver and feel lighter. Time for the most satisfying part. I'll cut through the stator to free the coils. You can use a hacksaw, an angle grinder, or if you're careful, a chisel and hammer to break the laminations and pull the copper in bunches.
This electric motor used to serve as a water pump, so we will get also a few parts made of brass and stainless steel. In order to recover the copper windings, I will use a small-scale hand winch. I found it to be very easy, efficient and cheap way for copper recovery and other duties. And that's the teardown. A bit noisy, a bit messy, but always satisfying. Now let's plug these weights and see what the numbers say. Did all that effort pay off? Here's what we got. Stainless steel. 1.1 pounds, steel. 9.4 pounds, aluminum. 2.8 pounds, brass. 1.1 pounds, and number 2 copper. 1.2 pounds. Total cash if I sell copper alone approximately $4.38. Total cash if I sell all the metals approximately $9.95. If I dropped it at the scrapyard hole, I'd get $3.91. After 10 minutes of work, I made $6.40 more. Not great for my time, but the copper is clean and more valuable per pound. If the motor is small or low copper and you value your time, sell whole. If the motor is large, high copper, or has recoverable magnets, Stripping usually pays. If you can batch motors and strip 10 at once with good tools, the per motor time drops, then stripping gets a lot more attractive. I've done the work and putting the real numbers on the table so you can see exactly what comes out of a motor. No guessing, no exaggeration. You've got the weights, the prices, and the math. So now it's up to you to decide if it's worth the time, the effort, and the tools. For some people, it's extra cash and satisfaction. For others, it's better to sell as-is and move on to the next find. Either way, you've got the facts. The choice is yours. Until next time, take care and keep that cash rolling in.